Welcome to my new domestic violence self-defense martial arts teaching video for TikTok. In this one I'm going to show all very, very young girls. If your abusive ex-husband or boyfriend tries to use the two-handed chokehold or the front bear hug to try to hurt you in a, some kind of a very, very bad way. First starting with the two-handed chokehold. Let's say you're at home and you decide to go outside to get some fresh air. Unaware that your abusive ex-husband or boyfriend is waiting for you right behind the bushes or behind your car. And without warning, they put both your hands, their hands on your neck. What you do, just pretend they have you. Play possum. Try to get them to take their guard down. Then, when they think they have you, surprise them by putting your chin down so you can breathe a little bit. Then front snap kick their groin or knees. And after you stun them, you can either knife hand chop their ears palm heel strike their nose you can punch them in the throat or you can take both your thumbs put them right behind their ears on the very soft spot spot press and squeeze really hard in some pain there or put your front finger and thumb together on the very soft spot between the neck and shoulder press and squeeze really hard in some pain there or take both your fists strike both their wrists then you can either front snap kick or front snap or side kick their groin or knees, elbow strike the jaws, and you can hammer fist their groin. And then put your front foot in front of you. Take both your hands, grab their left arm, pick them up off the ground, then you can twist your hip, throw them on the ground. Take the front foot, then you can trap the front wrist. Then use your back foot to stomp the groin, stomp the knee, stomp, stomp. Then use the same foot to do the same thing to their face or their throat, and then kia. And then after that, grab the phone, call the police, and tell them what happened. Watch again. You decide. Let's say you're going outside to get some fresh air, unaware that your abusive ex-husband or boyfriend is stalking you, watching you from watching you from either the, the bushes or behind your car, for example. Then why, and without warning, they come out, put both their hands around your neck, and try to kill you. What you do, just pretend they have you. Then, surprise them, when especially they think they have you, put, by putting your chin down so you can breathe a little. Then, front snap kick the groin or knees. Or, then, you can knife hand chop their ears. Palm heel strike their nose. You can punch them in the throat. Or take both your thumbs, put them right behind their ears, onto the very soft spot, which right here, press and squeeze really hard, instant pain. Or take your front finger and thumb, put it on the very soft spot between the neck and shoulder, press and squeeze really hard, instant pain there. Or take both your fists, strike both their wrists, and then use the front or the side kick to strike the groin or knees. Elbow strike the jaws, then hammer fist the groin. Put your front foot in front of you. Take both their hands, grab the left arm, pick them up, twist your hip, throw them on the ground. Then take the front foot, trap the front wrist. Then use the back foot to stomp the groin, stomp the knee, stomp, stomp. Then use the back foot to, use the same foot right here to do the same thing to their face, or their throat, and chia. Then, Go to the house, grab the phone, call the police, and tell them what happened. Now I'm going to show you one last time. Then I'm going to show you how it's going to look in combat speed. Then I'll show you how to get out of the front bear hug if, if your abusive ex-husband or boyfriend tries to use it on you. you just, let's say you decide to go outside and it's a beautiful day. You get some fresh air. But you're unaware that your abusive ex-husband or boyfriend is watching and stalking you. And then all of a sudden, without warning, they come out of the bushes behind your car and they put both of their hands around your neck. What you do, just pretend they have you. Play possum with them. And then, when they think they have you, surprise them by putting your chin down so you can breathe a little bit. Then use the front snap kick to strike the groin or the knees. Then, you can, then after that, either knife hand chop their ears Palm heel strike the nose, 
punch them in the throat. Or take both of your thumbs, put them right here, right behind their ears on the very soft spot. Press and squeeze really hard, instant pain. And then, or you can put your front finger, thumb together on the very soft spot between the neck and shoulder. Press and squeeze really hard, instant pain there. Or you can take both your fists, strike both their wrists. Then either front snap, kick the groin or knees. Elbow, strike the jaws, hammer fist the groin. Put your front foot in front of you. Take both your hands, grab their left arm. Pick them up off the ground, twist your hip, throw them on the ground. Take the front foot, trap the front wrist. Then use the back foot to stomp the groin, stomp the knee, stomp, stomp. Then use the same foot to do the same thing to their face or their throat and chia. And then, Grab the phone, call the police, tell them what happened. Now here's how it's going to look in combat speed. Watch. Kia, a kia, a kia, 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 kia. That's how it's going to look in combat speed. Now we're going to move on to the front bear hug from in front. Let's say you decide to go walk the streets in your area to get some exercise, unaware that your abusive ex-husband or boyfriend is watching you. And then all of a sudden, they put you in the front bear hug. What you do, play possum, pretend they have you. Then once they think they have you, outsmart them by using the front, your forehead to strike their nose. Once you send them, take both your hands, grab both their hips. Take your back knee, strike their knee until they let go. Once the groin's stunned, you can then after that, pull your hands up, your shoulders in the scarecrow position, then you can either palm heel strike the nose, or you can take both your thumbs, put them right behind their ears on the press and squeeze really hard and some pain there. Or you can take your front finger and thumb, put it on the very soft spot between the neck and shoulder, press and squeeze really hard and some pain there. And then you can also, once they, they've let go of you and you've done that, you can elbow strike the jaw, then turn it to a hammer fist. And then put your front foot in front of you, take both your hands, grab the left arm, pick them up, twist your hip, throw them on the ground. Take the front foot, trap the front wrist. Use the back foot to stomp the groin, stomp the knee, stomp, stomp. Then use this same foot to stomp their face, stomp their throat, stomp, kia. If you're by a neighbor, you know, very well, go to their house, tell them to call the police, or grab a phone, grab your phone, call the police, and tell them what happened. Watch again. You're walking in the streets, getting your exercise, and then all of a sudden, your abusive ex-husband or boyfriend walks right in front of you. Then they use the front bear hug to trap you. What you do, play possum. Act like they have you. And when they think they have you, use your... Use your forehead to strike their nose. Once it's done, take both your hands, grab the, both their hips, ram the back knee into their groin, and keep ramming until they let go. Once they've let go a little bit, take both your shoulders to pull up. Then you can either knife hand chop their ears, palm heel strike the nose, or you can take both your thumbs, put them right behind the very soft spot right, right underneath their ears, Press and squeeze really hard into the pain there. Or take the front, your front finger and thumb, put it on the very soft spot between the neck and shoulder, press and squeeze really hard into the pain there. And then, after they've let go, use either the front snap or the side kick to strike their groin or knees. You can elbow strike the jaw after that. Use the hammer fist to strike the groin. Once it's done, you can take both hands, grab the left arm, Pick 